Hi guys. Good evening. Um, I wrote a little thing that I would like to um, read before I start the cooking class today. So here goes. Juneteenth is a celebration of those who were held slave in the United States. It was said that in June 19, 1865, George Gringer landed in Galveston, Texas with news that the war was, has ended and all the people that were enslaved were finally free. And this was in 1865. However, reparation for black people still haven't come and we're still waiting on our 40 acres on our mule but that said and done we're still here and we're giving thanks to the fact that we have overcome many things to be where we are today we have to give thanks to that and just because we are somewhat physical free we're still not mental free because a lot of us has the mentality that we don't want to be free or we don't want to. Being free and being self-reliant is too difficult for some people. So some people choose the easy way out. The dependency on other people, on other race and other things to be happy and content and free within themselves. But Marcus Garvey did say we have to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery because none but ourselves can free our own mind. With that being said, my name is Chef Troy Levy. Google me if you don't know who I am. And I have brought today the Juneteenth Freedom Grill. That's the name of the title of the dish that I am going to be presenting for you guys. Because today is a free um, cooking class. And the free cooking class, we're going to be incorporating a few different vegetables and, and, and spices and herbs to create something that would signify freedom for us as a people and the Juneteenth Freedom Grill is basically a Middle Eastern roast cumin eggplant salad and it's topped with uh, grilled batatas. Now grilled batatas. Batatas is um, sweet potato in sub um, Sorara, Africa. In sub Sorara, Africa um, it's called Impome batata and impome batata is the same thing as sweet potato for a lot of us on this side of the world we, we some of us call it sweet yam but it's the same exact thing but I call it the freedom grill so today without further ado um, we have two I think we have two people who were interested in getting the ingredients and cook along so um, in the meantime while I'm working if you guys are on the live and you want to join the video and um, share the video where we could see what you're doing and you see what we're doing you could definitely do that and we'll def definitely join your add you to the live so we could walk through whatever we're doing so first and foremost um, we have um, today's free cooking class is sponsored by Chef Troy's Table Chef Troy's Table for the number one in healthy clean condiments we have our scotch bonnet our mango scotch bonnet pepper sauce we have our jerk sauce where we know jerk sauce and we have our escovit sauce for your fish your chicken any kind of protein that you want to have your pickled Escovage on we have that in stock as well without further ado. Let's start with the dish. So first and foremost I have prepped two things. I have prepped two things earlier just to Make this dish go a lot, a lot faster than it, it, it usually does So we have um, the batata which is sweet yam or sweet potato and what we have done with it is We have placed it in a parchment paper and we have had some um, coconut amino we have had bay leaves we have had garlic some thyme some emelian salt and some cumin and some olive oil and we have 
put it in the oven for uh, 350 degrees for 20 minutes and we have steamed it so it steams straight through not only steam but it is infused with all the flavors and spices that I told you that we had to it so this is what the outcome of it look like now we're going to start with all the veggies that we're going to have to make the salad first so let's start up our fire and then we'll move along and I hope everybody could see me So we have our cast iron grill and that is where we're going to be grilling our veggies so I just turn it on and on high and these are the ingredients that we're going to be using for the salad today so for the salad today we're going to be using fresh green onion or scallion we call it in Jamaica we're going to be using an Asian eggplant which Asian eggplant has a lot of great health benefits it, it has a great source of minerals and vitamin K, vitamin C, vitamin B6. It helps with your digestive system and it also improves your heart health, your bone health and increase your brain function. So it has a lot of health benefit. This is the Asian eggplant. Next we have um, some cherry tomato. I will just have um, like four skewers of cherry tomato. We have it in a five inch skewer and we have some red onion. Now, earlier on when I was prepping, I was contemplating whether I want to, we also have the button mushroom that we're going to be using too. So I was contemplating whether I want to cut the button mushroom or I just want to use them as is. So let's just slice them in two. And as it relates to um, button mushroom, it definitely contains um, some B vitamin and some D vitamin also a powerful um, antioxidant and it also is a super immune system builder so we have all of that in our button mushroom so if you guys are afraid of mushroom it is definitely better than a whole heap of the protein them so-called protein them that we're putting in our body so now we're gonna just cure our button mushroom let our pot get really hot because we want it to be piping hot when we grill our veggies and guys, we have um, some giveaway to give away today. Um, we have a package of um, jerk sauce, scotch bunny sauce, and um, escovage. And later on, I'm going to give you a trivia question. And if you can definitely tell me what that is, this will be coming to you. Okay, guys? And please, in the meantime, while we're on live, share this live with your friend. Share it with your colleague. Share it with your significant other. Share it with everybody and tell them that I'm live. I'm cooking an idle dish that everyone should be watching because it's free. You don't get things free like this all the time, all right? So we're going to give you something free and then we're going to start charging for a cooking class. All right? So um, for the most part, if, I don't know, somebody could send me a request as it relates to if you're on live and you got the recipe and you're following through because I'm a little ways... But my sous chef and assistant will definitely oblige with getting you on live if you send a request. Alright? Not going to be able to read any comment or anything like that at the moment. Because I am definitely focused on this. Alright, so guys. I don't know if you could see it, but the, the, the pot is piping hot. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the, the tomato. A pinch of cumin because we want our vegetable um, cumin is one of the main ingredients that we're using today and we have some Himalayan salt so basically we're just putting a little bit of salt a little bit of cumin and a little bit of olive oil and give that a nice toss and then we set them in the grill and you want to hear that sizzle when you put them on the grill And 
while that is getting grilled we're not going to grill them for long you know we're just going to give them like about what, three four minutes on each side and while that is getting grilled we just have the mushroom we could definitely um is there space now i'm not going to put this in here yeah? now as it relates to the eggplant we're going to just slice them and we're going to just probably skewer them or just drop them in the pot as is And this is just cutting your eggplant on a bias basically you don't cut it straight to cut it around you're cutting it on a bias basically and you get these kind of look from your eggplant after you cut them on a bias now we're gonna add them in a bowl as well add a little bit of olive oil pinch of cumin as well pinch of Himalayan salt as well and just give that a nice toss and you could hear you could smell the flea, the fragrance from the pot as well as um, you could hear it and now we're going to just place our eggplant on the side and this is something that it, it's, it's basically a summer dish so this is something that you could do um, you know if you have company coming over and they don't eat meat and you want to definitely make sure you prepare something nice for them if you want to DM me I'll send you the recipe or if you want to take notes while we're cooking you could also do that so see I'm getting a nice char on my um, tomatoes nice grill mark onion is getting charred as well eggplant is getting charred as well In the meantime this is getting charred and getting grilled i want you guys to know i'm gonna step around and come look at the live and see what you guys are saying but i want you guys to also know that um if you want any ital food to be done and done clean and healthy with organic vegetable and organic produce chef troy table is where it's at we're not brag we're not boast and we're not hype but we try to keep the integrity of freshness of organic food and clean and healthy so you know that is what it is see see those nice grill mark that's what you want to get on your eggplant very subtle in and guys we are humble with it but we are one of the greatest item chef you ever meet all right so we, what we're doing right now, after we grill all the vegetables and get them nice and charred, we're, we're going to cut them up with, with some cilantro, add a little bit of Emelian salt, again, add a little bit of cumin, some lemon juice and stuff, and give it a nice, vibrant flavor. That's going to be our salad on our plate. After that, we're going to grill our batatas, and we're going to put that on top. But before we grill our batatas, I'm going to make a sauce that is going to serve with the batatas all right so just give me a second and that sauce is basically an easy sauce just just tune just keep tuning you'll definitely see how easy it is So we're grilling everything so i mean you could do this you could grill these vegetables at a time and keep them somewhere warm so when you're making your salad you just chop them up incorporate them and have that nice presentation but because i want to this is not really just a demo this is actually i'm, I'm trying to show you guys from scratch how everything is made and how we, how we build our dishes all right so you'll know when your eggplant is done when it gets Kind of flimsy and you know it still have a little bit of a tint um it's it's kind of al dente but at the same time it's kind of soft at the edge so you know that you don't want eggplant to overcook nothing like in my opinion guys when you're eating vegetable or you're eating any kind of provision or fruit i don't think they should be overcooked if you cook them and put them and eat i don't think they should be overcooked 
we should definitely still have a little firmness to them a little niceness to them so my eggplants almost finished tomatoes as well looking very lovely red onion as well everything is just looking beautiful so let's do some of the mushroom now a little bit of olive oil on the mushroom same same treatment that I get the a bit of a million salt and a pinch of cumin because I want most of like this dish like I said it, it's a, a, a Middle Eastern roast on um, cumin dish so I want everything to have the presence of that cumin texture, cumin taste. Okay, so our tomatoes are ready as well. So we'll just take them off. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could actually smell the aroma of all these veggies being grilled. So everything is in there grilling now the only thing leave is the scallion now a lot of people when they eat scallion especially in the caribbean when they eat scallion they usually cut it up a lot of people don't really grill it and and and, and, and deal with it certain ways so this is a new way you guys can definitely try to eat scallion if you don't like it cut up in a, you know you know i mean a lot of grilled vegetables and grilled herbs really taste better when you grill it over when you just cook it or saute it in certain dishes you know grilling is you know one of the top way of me personally utilizing a lot of my veggies and, and like I told you before guys the, the button mushroom it definitely contain um, B vitamin and D vitamin and powerful antioxidants and, and it supports your, your immune system so I think that you know a lot of people are trying to eat healthy nowadays are trying to consume uh, you know get a more healthy way approaching vegetable and stuff i think you know do your research on some of these vegetables and see how good they are for you and see all the health benefit that they have for you and try your best to make your your food your medicine you know and your medicine your food because at the end of the day that's what it's about for me you know it is about us trying to preserve our body and our system as much as possible try to make sure that we live a little bit longer before these guys come kill we are the way them want but in the meantime we'll just try to live healthy you know what I got try to live healthy because no no we're not immune to the fact of how these guys is acting on out there crazy you know so I'm gonna take off my tomato from the skewers Let's give it a nice rough chop. Same treatment for the the eggplant. Let's give it like you know like some small cubes. Now as it relates to the mushroom, you know the mushroom has a lot of water in it so it take a little bit longer to grill but nevertheless it's going to get grilled and get eaten just the same. Now our onion is also ready. Did somebody send in a request? So I'm chopping up my red onion. Just give it a rough chop. 
because red onion is not as strong as the white onion it's a little bit sweeter and it also definitely is um more easier to it definitely good for your digestive system and it's easier to consume in my opinion so guys if you're following with me make sure you chop up your eggplant your red onion your tomato and let me get these scallion on the on the grill too And guys, if you um, consume meat, then you could definitely, the same way that I'm doing this dish, you could just switch over the mushroom to probably um, chicken or fish or whatever you feel comfortable consuming. And just do this, you know, just follow the same procedure, direction. And you should come up with a very beautiful and awesome dish. Chef Troy, how are you, sir? <laughs> how is it going, sir? I guess he wasn't watching the live from earlier. We have a, a Juneteenth Freedom Grill. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we um, today dish we basically have um, a Juneteenth Freedom Grill. You know, today is Juneteenth, where we are celebrating the day when the so-called slave from the South was freed. So we're doing a freedom. We're basically doing a freedom dish. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, well basically we're doing a freedom dish. So basically it's uh, all vegan, all ital dish. But we are um, we're dedicating this dish basically for the day and for the celebration of Juneteenth. Like I said, I was I told them all of that earlier. I mean, you know, you wasn't around, but basically. So basically, guys, we have the the um the batata right now, and this is how it look after we have steam it for a little bit. So right now we're just gonna put it in the pot and get that nice grill mark on it. That's one piece. And only thing I just put on this just to keep it from sticking to the pot is just some um, olive oil. So the batata is um, batata is another name for sweet yam. Batata is another name for sweet yam or sweet potato. You know, in 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 in, in Africa they call it batata. And based on the fact that we are celebrating the freedom of the slaves. And all who, all our engineers and our teachers and our doctors and our children that they brought over from Africa and enslaved them, we are definitely dedicating this one to South Africa and also to, you know, the, the, the people who got freed in this time. You know, so we have to give thanks for that. Mm hmm Alright, hold on one second. 
So guys, after we grill our scallion, our scallion look like this. We have our grilled scallion, our green onion. And we're also going to chop that up and put that in the, in the bowl. And, and guys, um, if you are doing this for you and a bunch of people, I would definitely suggest you use gloves. I'm doing this because I definitely wash my hand, but I'm definitely doing this for me and my sous chef. So we're gonna consume this and I'm, you know, very... Perfect. incorporate that as well into the bowl and we're definitely gonna get a lemon gonna use half a lemon Well, a couple of, I have a, a Father's Day menu, but a couple of my um, chef friends also have Father's Day menu that they're offering, whether they have it on their social media, they have it on their website or wherever. You have a lot of fathers out here, not getting the respect, like you said, and love that they should get, but for the most part, definitely. Definitely, there's a lot of Father's Day thing going on. You could you could definitely you could definitely share your information. I know everybody is listening. Would definitely be interested if they're not in my area and they're in your area. Then you know I go. So guys, but hold on a second. So guys, so guys, this is the, the salad with the eggplant, the tomato, the, the mushroom. I've had some cilantro. I've had the roast kelly and in it as well. And I've just had a little bit of lemon juice, a pinch of cumin just to top it off to bring back that flavor. And a little bit of a million salt and basically that's it and the salad is ready guys I don't know if I don't know if you guys can see it but this is the beauty okay this is the beauty that I'm presenting awesomeness and we're just gonna set that aside because we have different components to the dish now before we um I'm gonna just remove this skeleton from the grill and use this one yes it is a salad it is it is a salad All right, guys. So um, after I make the salad, I'm gonna just clean off my table, get everything back organized because I have one more component to the dish that I know you guys are going to love. All right. So for this component, I'm definitely going to be using a chef try jerk sauce in this one. And like I said, guys, you could use your chef Troy jerk sauce in anything. Now for this, 
for this um that i'm gonna be making right now it's basically it's gonna be like a glaze or a sauce that i'm gonna add to the top of the batata all right and basically it's going to be um chef troy jerk sauce it's gonna be some maple syrup and it's gonna be some so i have the pot a medium heat I've add, i'm just adding a little bit of maple syrup to that i'm gonna be generous because i want to taste that nice jerk or spicy flavor so i'm adding a little bit of chef troy jerk sauce to the mix And last but not least, I'm just gonna chop some cilantro really, really. If it's gonna be rustic, you don't have to chop it too fine. Just chop up some cilantro. Add to that sauce, all right? Now you get your whisk. So you're gonna get the sweetness from the maple syrup, but you're also gonna get the spicy and the flavor from the jerk sauce. Awesomeness, awesomeness. So I turn, it, turn this off. And that's it. So guys, I'm gonna remove all these things that I've used. I hope you guys are here with me and seeing what's going on. Alright guys, so first and foremost, this is the salad that I've made earlier. I'm gonna put it in the center of the plate. This is the, 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 the Middle Eastern um, roasted cumin salad, eggplant and mushroom salad, right? So we could be generous with our salad. Sexiness, you see that? Alright guys, so this is the maple and jerk sauce glaze. Last but not least guys, we have some MC art that has been roasted and we are just going to definitely top off our batata. Guys, I hope you guys have fun watching me do this as much as I did. And I hope you guys, if you feel the need to try this dish or you need the recipe, don't be afraid to DM me and I'll definitely send you the recipe and you could buy your ingredients or you could call Chef Troy at any time and we could walk through the steps of preparing this beautiful dish. I hope you guys like it and guys, 
I'm feeling hungry. I don't know about you. And don't forget, ital is vital. And whatever you put in your body, that's what you're going to get out of your body. So make sure you put good things in your body so good things can come out. And I would definitely recommend that you guys, even if you're not ital or even if you're not vegan, try to indulge in some vegan or vegetarian and ital dishes from time to time. Just do it like day to day or, or probably you could do it you do it in don't exceed too much or do it in excess you know try it once or twice so you gradually you get into it and get into the flavor because what a lot of people tend to don't realize is all the sugar all the salt all the the flavors that people seem the palate seem to be feeling for especially as it comes to protein like meat and other protein it's in your vegetables it's in your food so you know once you get creative and, and pay attention to what you're doing I'm pretty sure you can create nice and healthy dishes where you don't have to crack no bone and you don't have to drink no blood or make no blood run if you eat a wonderful meal alright so bless and Joe will do the rest and Ital is vital keep it clean keep it healthy we'll see you next time and guys please subscribe to Chef Troy Stable on YouTube. Also, get on my website to purchase your sauces. Any one of your condiments you want, you can purchase them. Now, for the big trivia question, you think I was going to run out without having that trivia question, right? Who is on the live? I'm just going to have to choose one person from Facebook and one person from Instagram. And I'm going to I guess I have to go share sauces and, and condiments to two people right now because I want somebody to tell me, the first person to tell me, this is not no politics, the first person to tell me what was the first thing I did when I come on live, you're definitely going to get one jerk sauce, one scotch bonnet sauce, you DM me your information and it will be mailed to you as long as you're in New York or, or, or surrounding areas. Or else you're gonna pay the shipping fee, I'll send it wherever you're at. But you'll get the Escovit sauce, you get the jerk sauce, and a scotch bonnet sauce. What was the first thing I did when I came on live today? Let me check these live and see what these people are saying. Okay, don't hear no from nobody over here yet. Everybody away, but me not hear nothing from nobody over here so yet either. <laughs> All right, guys. What was the first thing I did when I came on live? <laughs> Rick, you got it. I thought me talk, right? But definitely, I did read something I I wrote. But I guess this sauce is going to um to the Browns. Rick, are the Browns there, right? All right. Rick get it from IG live. Let's see on Facebook who's gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, I put on the grill, but I definitely <laughs> read something before I put on the grill. Alright, so we have two people who are definitely going to be getting my condiments. And before we indulge in this, I definitely want to take some pictures. So guys, I'm going to exit live right now so I can take some pictures, so I can post some pictures, so I could indulge in this goodness. And if you guys want this recipe or other recipe like this, don't be afraid to go to chefchoicetable.com, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my website, and I'll definitely be sharing recipes like this and more healthy and, 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 and delicious recipes for you guys to be, uh, you know. And thank you guys for actually 
following Chef Troy Levy, supporting Chef Troy Levy, and loving Chef Troy Levy the way Chef Troy Levy loves you guys. All right. And if you don't know, since Chef Troy tell me so many, if you tell the people them again who me is, I am Chef Troy Levy, the one and only Ital Chef from Glengarth, Jamaica. All right. So thanks for your support. Thanks for your love. Bless and you will do the rest. I am getting off live guys. Hopefully I could save this before it get delayed.